or on the ACC. And I do have clarification on the question about full shares or not, based on what Ross Dellinger reported, and, and even Max uh, did mention that. The ACC's television contract with ESPN includes pro rata clause, requiring the network to increase the value of the deal by one tier one share for every new member, believed to be about $24 million a share, or about 70% of a full ACC share, which includes tiers one, two, and three. Those are the different media levels of revenue. The ACC would stand to earn $72 million in new money with the three expansion shares. Cal Stanford have agreed to take about 30% of the $24 million, or roughly $7 to $10 million a year. After Cal Stanford's share and travel costs are offset, roughly $1 to $2 million a school, the ACC stands to earn at least $30 million in revenue redistributed, likely through an incentive pool based on athletic successes. Yeah, I saw you uh, retweet Ross's article. I didn't see that uh, yesterday. Um, I didn't either. But it, I think what makes it confusing is there's just a lot of like little tweaks. Like it's, it's pro rata, yes, just to answer that question, right? But is it the full share no, no it's not but it's pro rata and it's additive yeah. and yes even for smu that's the bottom line is yes they they would bring more money in for each one of those teams it's just when you start getting to the the depths of it it's like but it's 70 percent. it's not 100 and you know blah blah and, and blah and again it's not 72 million that will be distributed to the current acc teams it's 72 million minus what you would pay cal stanford at a 70 percent discount then on top of that some travel cost even though smu wants nothing you're probably in the neighborhood, it says, of at least $30 million in revenue to redistribute. So it's not $72 million, three shares, but not full pro rata shares, tier one shares, about 70% of that. So to get, like, just say one school of Florida State and Clemson wanted to leave. If it's just one of them, you have to give them all of it to convince them that to stay, probably which you're not going to do. If you're going to make an close impact the gap, in that right? right? So that's, that's where... You know, and and again, if there's thirty million dollars in new money, even if I agree that I'm going to give a little bit more to somebody else, if I'm Boston College or Wake Forest or Syracuse or anybody, I at least want some of it. Sure, you do. I and mean, you're, you're earning it. Otherwise, you, you're going to be in position where others have more clout because of their logo and tradition and their money and revenue, and then you're in a position where you have people who st say the next time that Florida State wants to raise their leg. If you let them do it now, not that they don't have a little clout, if you let them do that now, you're going to have to let them do that again. And the next thing you know, you're going to have a power structure that's just kind of not really very healthy. Yeah, I mean, I think that it's kind of damned if you do, damned if you don't in, in some ways, right? But uh, that's why I circle back to what I said at the start of, I wonder if you just kind of throw your hands up and you go, hey, we're going to lose them eventually anyways, whether it's you know five years or ten years, we might as well set ourselves up ahead of time to do the best that we can right now. And then who knows what happens in the future, but hey, let's bring in these new schools. Let's bring in the state of Texas in our footprint. Let's bring in the state of California in our footprint. Let's bring in all these other sports that, you know, don't really register as far as the TV deals go. But, um, you know, and then, hey, if we lose those schools down the line, at least we have Cal, Stanford, you know, I guess you, yep. you've already added them as opposed to you lose them eventually and then you go try to grab whoever's available. So I can kind of see that. It still does feel very much like trying to keep a building together with scotch tape though and something that is not going to last the, the test of time but i mean you need to do it first you need to pull the trigger which is not something they've done yet but thank you for the clarification because it all gets very confusing on you start talking sh pro rata shares and things like that but but yeah, uh, it, yeah it's good to have clarification and know that yeah they'd all be bringing uh something to the table well you were right and yet part of it could have been a little bit better explained but but i did not see the dellinger story either but i'm glad that somebody referred to it i went to look at it tj scott in the chat room